How you doing? Could I get the uh, squash and carrots, please? That I'll do for the mashed potatoes. I'll do some of that, please. Thank you. I appreciate you. going on everyone welcome back to the channel hope you guys are all doing well out there today is a beautiful day here at Fort Jackson South Carolina it's just wrapping up lunch hour here at the DFAC considering how much you guys enjoyed the last DFAC video that I made back at Fort Leonard Wood I thought I'd put together just a little video with a few clips showing you what the different menu items are here at the DFAC at Fort Jackson now to start off there's two different DFACs right so if you're here on TDY if you're here for orders for a school something like that uh, you basically have two main options if you're going to be eating government meals that are provided on your orders. That's going to be either at the Drill Sergeant Academy DFAC, which I highly do not recommend, or this DFAC, which is the other AIT uh, DFAC. There might be another one that I'm not aware of, but those are the two main ones that I've heard of people going to. Now, you don't want to catch yourself at the Drill Sergeant Academy DFAC uh, at the wrong time for obvious reasons. Um, also, that being said, the line goes really slow and the defect is a bit smaller. So I think the capacity issue is sometimes there. In general, I've found the menu items here at the AIT defect, whatever you want to call it, the one on the south end of the installation is actually pretty damn good. Considering the type of quality that I was experiencing at Fort Leonard Wood, the bar was already pretty high and having some pretty good defect food actually at 400 Liggett as well. Not my favorite place in the world, but the defect food is pretty damn good. I will say that Fort Jackson is definitely up there. Hey, Rob, what you Rob? Yes, sir. I've been eating here Monday through Friday, Saturday and Sunday as well, at least for dinner. And it's been very, very good. I know people like to complain about defect food and how it's, you know, not healthy and it doesn't taste good. Both of those are just not true. Number one, you have a color coded little section when you go through the line. And so if you're coming here for, you know, basic IT, uh, you're going to have an idea of what you should be putting in your body and what you want to actually fuel your body to perform at your best. And so they have green, yellow, and red. So green, obviously, a food you should eat pretty often that's gonna be, you know, vegetables and all this. Uh, yellow is gonna be something like mashed potatoes and red is usually like your red meats, or like a cheeseburger or something like that. Today, I treated myself to some baby back ribs. They were barbecue ribs that actually were absolutely fantastic. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty hard for a deep bag to do, honestly. I mean, I know they didn't use a smoker for it. They probably put them in an oven uh, and they have to make, you know, a huge volume of the food. But that being said, pretty exceptional quality and uh, highly recommend. Some of my other favorite menu items over the course of the week was the cheese tortellini. It sounded like it might be a healthier option. Uh, I didn't want to try the meat that day, so I gave it a shot and actually was exceptional. It tasted almost like the one that you can get at Trader Joe's. Other things from the week that weren't so bad, the fried chicken, definitely would recommend. Uh, the skin, the crust is definitely not Popeyes or anything like that. But again, we're talking about DFAC here and it's pretty damn good for a DFAC. I will also say that if you're coming here on orders and you want to avoid the rush of the trainees coming in, I think it's either AIT or basic, you want to be here towards the end of the lunch hour or the end of the dinner hour. That's when the trainees are usually cycled out at the, at the last half hour segment. You know, as an officer, I usually try to get there towards the end anyway, just so I can let everybody else eat and whatever is left, usually just get some of that and it's not too bad. Once again, the DFAC is pretty easy to get to. It's gonna be, you know, just down the road from most of the courses that you're here for. So the physical fitness school, you know, MRT, uh, most of the big ones. 
Uh, and if you're here, since it's a training installation, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be here for school anyway. And so I would recommend, honestly, come to the defect, just trying it out. A lot of you guys are at home, probably you know, used to meal prepping, eating out, uh, having all your perfect uh, carbs and, and protein balances. But honestly, if you're here for a few weeks, even for a few months, the defect food is pretty damn good. You get here at the right time, there's no wait, and uh, it's gonna be a great meal for whatever you're looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, drop a like down below if you enjoyed it. Uh, drop a comment if you have any questions about, I don't know, the defect food here um, or anything else. I'm happy to help out where I can. Uh, main thing is that I love defects, okay? Who doesn't like to eat for free? When you're on orders, doing work for the army and uh, you can eat at a chow hall, I'm gonna take advantage and uh, try what the food is that they have. And I'll tell you, I mean, I've tried many different menu items. They're all pretty damn good. And if I haven't stressed it enough already, Fort Jackson Defects, definitely up there with uh, Hunter Liggett, Fort Leonard Wood, other places I've been to, uh, definitely not too bad. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.